tell your dogs no? And then they all came out. Sit down, boy. Sit down. Sit down. Good boy. Uh-uh. I gotta put my shoes on. Just a minute. Cyrus, if you sit down. Sit down. All right, boys. Go ahead. There you go. Filament. She's going to the bathroom. Good girl. That's done. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So today is the time for a garden tour because um I don't know if the sky's gonna open it up or not. So, and I have a lot to show you anyway. So let's get to it. All right. Is Scotch bonnet. I pulled them up out of the ground. Remember, I had those um plants in the ground and they weren't doing well. Well, they're doing a lot better now that I put them in pots. There's some sage right there. And I forget what this is. I think this is um pomegranate. What is this climbing up this thing? That's not not cool. What is that? Huh. Okay. Glad I saw that. There's a moringa back here. I don't know if it's gonna come back. These are um butterfly peas. I planted some more basil. I have to just beat them in the ground. I took all of the moringa that was on the other table and put it over here because they weren't doing well and I wasn't paying enough attention to them. Lemongrass, one of my friends came over, I gave him some more lemongrass. I cut that down a little bit. Here is my bitter app, bitter melon, excuse me. I do not care if it has melons on it. I want the leaves. I harvest the leaves. I need to go and come and harvest a bunch of them. Bitter melon is aggressive, by the way, y'all can tell. Don't plant that joke in there anything you want because it's gonna it's gonna wrap around it. It's attacking the pepper plant right now. I don't care about the snake plant, but the pepper plant, my bell pepper plant, uh, those are those are precious. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just wanted away from my bell pepper. Here's one of my bell pepper plants. I have about four more over there. These are my um, Hass avocado trees. I did not grow these from seed. They're not doing too good, but. Mm. We'll see. Tomato bushes back here in the greenhouse. This stuff that I just didn't take out. This is one of my lemon trees, Myers lemon. This is a southern cherry, other known, otherwise known as the Barbados cherry. And then there's another lemon tree right there. Oh, and that's the Wondering Jew. And in this lemon tree, there's also a Wondering Jew. All the rest of the stuff got taken out. I need to clean this thing out completely and start over because winter will soon be here. We're in the middle of the summer, but I'm always thinking ahead. I had some kale over here that was getting ate up. Hopefully it comes back. I don't feel like replanting it. So I put it in a place that the bugs don't like that much. Let's see. Let's go around and around, round and around. This is a kiwi. I got these kiwi plants. They were not doing well in the house, but now that I took them outside, oh, they're doing much better. And yeah, maybe not this one, but these are. Another wondering Jew. Celery, celery, celery. That, you know, that's aloe vera. Those aloe vera snake plants. Here, right here. Guess what those are? You know what those are, right? We did this on camera. Those are my dragon fruit. Yay! Hey, the little ones are doing well. Also, I have some in the window that we need to replant. Here's another sage. These are habanero peppers. I have to harvest from these every day, usually off camera. My birds are making weird noises. Here's Kara Kara. I got these from the internet. They've gotten a lot stronger and a lot bigger. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. Beautiful. This is asparagus that is in the ground. I let it fern. It's on year. This is year two. Or one and a half, depending on how you calculate. This is a persimmon that needs to go on the ground. This is a moringa, another moringa. Moringa goes quick. If you put it in a bigger pot, it grows quicker. Because this one right here is the same age as the ones that are on the table. And then this one, look at that. See how tall that is? Because I have it in a huge pot, right? That one is the same as, say, plant at the same time as this one. So they grow in accordance with what pot you got them in. If you got them in a small pot, they're not gonna get, it's gonna stunt the growth. 
put them in the ground, I think they're gonna get a lot bigger. So let's go out there to the other moringa since we're on moringa. So y'all know about the ones I planted way out there. We're gonna work our way this way. Man, maybe not. Which way do we go? We'll go this way. Here are the rest of the pepper plants, bell pepper plants. All bell peppers, all of them are in the shade or near the house. They cannot take the heat. Basil plant is doing fine. There's some tomato plants down here. The herbs are fighting for their life. Here's another moringa. So that's one, right? I planted about five in the ground. There's one right there. Let's go out here. These are still, these two asparagus still are on the ground. I ain't get to it yet. It's another basil plant. I plant basil next to stuff because it seems to be the only herb that works. Here's another moringa. I gotta stake him up because this one keeps on falling down. I put some cantaloupe down there, we'll see. And some asparagus, we'll see. There's another moringa in here. I put these stakes up so that I wouldn't mess it. I'm gonna come out here with a weed eater and I'm gonna get it. That's another moringa. That was the first one I planted. Well, these two were the first two that I planted. And then here's our Asian pear, Shinseki pear, Ayers pear. Ah, the pear that had the um, pears on it. It's turning red. Got two pears on it. I guess I'll go and check to see if they plumped up a little bit. My sunflowers just popped up. Cucumbers are not cucumbering anymore, but I told you I had um, sweet potatoes in here, right? So when the cucumbers die, the sweet potatoes take over. Let's see if we have a sunflower to harvest. I know, I know. She need the weed. I don't know. I'll leave it on there. Anyway. Moving on, Myers Lemon, Myers Lemon, Myers Lemon, way out there, Myers Lemon. Those two were in the uh, the watermelon patch, that's why they're so small, because I didn't tend to them. They were, they were deep in the patch last year. So this year I'm gonna try to give them some ex extra attention because they were planted the same time as these two. Here's another Ayers pear. And this thing is a mess. I'm kind of ashamed to show it to you, but it's here. It's here, it's holding on doing its thing. This is a mixed patch. I got everything from watermelons, bell pepper, tomato plants, kale, <laughs> Swiss chard. I'm just going over a few things that I see out here. They're all out here together. And cucumber. Everything is in here. There's no bugs in there either. That's why I did it. Sick of, I'm sick of, sick of fighting with these bugs. Let's move out here. So I already told you about this. This is where we just came from. Those are our bell peppers that are still flowering. There's no guarantee that it's gonna give us any bell peppers because it's been hot out here. Let me tell you something about the rain. The rain that comes from the sky is the only thing these plants respond to. City water or county water, uh, I don't know. Some about it don't really do nothing for these plants. But let the sky open and get some rain in it. Uh, totally different situation. Here are, what are they, Celeste? Celestial uh, figs. Of course, y'all know about this crepe myrtle, right? That is a lime tree. So I have three figs surrounding the crepe myrtle. I'm gonna try to keep this crepe myrtle small because if I don't, it'll end up like these jokers. They go, they're, they're, the crepe myrtles are actually bushes that people prune into trees. They're beautiful, but they get humongous. And once you put them in the ground, that's it. You better put them where you want them to be because they will never, ever, ever be able to pu be pulled up. You're stuck with them. They're pretty though. They're very pretty. I love them. <laughs> this is this is a peach tree that I've been tending to. This thing has been in the ground for about four or five years. This thing has been in the ground for about, I don't know, 18 years. <laughs> it needs to be pruned. I don't like the peaches on this thing, so... Mm. That's why it looks like that. But I've never had a peach from this one. It never gave me any fruit. That's because I didn't take care of it. You got to take care of your stuff. Here is an apricot tree. We planted this together this summer. This is a new tree. You can tell when trees are rooted because they look like they've been there all their lives. It starts growing in. 
This one, what is this? This is one of those Arctic Frost Sassumas. It's still got a little bit of leaf curl, but the new leaves, that the leaves are coming out. It's starting to, it's starting to do better. And it rained, and look at the ground. Look at the ground. It looks like it didn't rain. It, it, you saw the video. It was thunderstorming out here. This, of course, is a pecan tree. There are three pecan trees here. There's one here, one right there, and then there's one over there in the end of thing. There's another apricot tree right here. I'm trying to work across this yard. <laughs> There's a lot of vine plants. There's tomato, oh, excuse me, there's tomatoes, which you all see all the time. These cherry tomatoes, planted tomatoes. These little cherry tomatoes, they will grow forever. I didn't water because I figured we got water, but look at the ground. Look at that, it's cracking. We had thunderstorms. It's supposed to be thunderstorms again, so I'm trying to get this thing you know this video out to you guys before the sky opens up again so there's an apricot there apricot there and of course is on the on the interior is, is uh, crepe myrtles and these are red tip pontinium red tip pontinium will also get huge if you don't prune it so you plant this when you have a neighbor you don't want to see because you can see you can't see through that joker right okay letting you know you want your privacy red tip pontinium you buy them at the big box store. That's where I got mine from. Um, this one, look at this, man. Lord have mercy. Drying up. Okay, hopefully this makes it. Hopefully this is one of my, my plum trees. Another Arctic frost. This is my lime tree. Remember the one we wrapped up? That joker is loaded. Number of limes everywhere. It's well worth it. I wrapped it in weed barrier and a tarp. We had a freeze. And I was like, I am not going to let my thing die back. There's that one branch way up there. See that one branch standing up by itself? That's the only one that was exposed. The rest of it was wrapped up. I think with that one and that one right there was both wrapped up like a mummy. These things have been here for a long time. Over 10, 15 years. They've been here for a while. I, I don't remember, but it was it's, it's over, it's definitely over 15 years. So I'm gonna let it die back. It's been fighting all this time and I'm not gonna let no little frost come. These two little ones are doing a lot better. A lot better. I wrapped those up also with like blankets and all kind of stuff, anything I could find, anything to break the wind, anything to keep it a little bit warmer and break the wind, that's what I did. The wind is what gets them. It's a peach tree. Can't tell you what type of peach because when I bought it from the big box store, this one and that one, all they said was peach. But I tell you what, those peaches are the best peaches I've ever had, ever. And I like peaches. Now this tree right here, this flower and pear, I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm just gonna let it try to fight on its own. I've had this tr this tree for whew, a long time, and I cut off one of the branches, but then I see another one up in there. So I'm just gonna let it. It's been here all this time. I I read up on it, and they said you know you'll be chopping and chopping until you don't have a tree anymore. It, it you know the tree has to be able to fight. Just like when we catch a cold or a virus, we have to fight it off. Same thing with the trees. So hopefully, hopefully she makes it. She's been here for a while. She's been here for a long time. Long, long time. She was one of the first. Before all that stuff behind her was planted, she was here. Anyway, I'm not gonna get upset about that. Here's another one of the plum trees. They're drying up a little bit. These two, when I planted them, they were struggling. They look like they're doing better though. You know how I know? I look at the ground. If it looks like it's taken to the ground, that's when I stop worrying about them. Although I see a couple of cracks in there. So I'll probably come out here with a bucket. Here's another plum tree. These two are apple trees. They're looking a little bit better now that it rained. Especially this one, because I've been giving this one water. I give this one water, but not as much apparently, because look at it. 
anyway apple trees i'm praying that those stay because i haven't had any luck with apple trees this is another pecan tree <laughs> this thing look like it got a face on it this is another um this is the other one that i wrapped up with uh you know with um weed barrier and a tarp during the freeze and look at it, it has fruit all over it more fruit than it had last year last year i didn't wrap them so i was lucky that the tree didn't die back like kind of like this one i forgot one day one day or one freeze i forget to cover this thing because it came back last year and this is what happened to it it might be alive though because that thing is stiff i don't trust this one it's come back every year because of that, I planted moringa here. These are the two I did in front of you guys. I don't know if I did the other two on camera. And I put a moringa right here. Tree of life. Read it. Look up on it. Read every part of the moringa. People sell it at the stores. Well, not at the grocery store, but at the, you know, the Asian stores. Here's another peach tree. Doing just fine. It's already giving me peaches, so it just looks like it's happy. And that's what I want it to be. It's an apricot tree. I had three of them. This one is doing good. This one gets more, more water than the other, but it still looks like the ground is cracking. That is interesting. I'm not afraid of you guys no more. So I've been watering, but man, the Texas sun is treacherous. So my melon patch slash squash plat patch is doing good. Um, with You can't tell by the leaves, but by the fruit. You shall know them by their fruits, right? When we're looking at the fluff, look at the fruit. That'll tell you everything you need to know. So, got a bunch of fruit. The vines aren't doing that well. I did put some fertilizer down here. That's the squash right there. And um, we'll see. All I could do is my part, right? If I see any ones that have any, you know, rot on it or anything, I'll pull them up. But other than that, I just leave it alone and give it water. My figs are right here. I haven't found any, and this one, this one um, rabbit just ran by. Delicata squash. I don't see any squash on it, but this joker certainly is running all over the place. Just running rampant. I know by the leaves. Yep, it came from way over there. And it's way over here. Let's take a look. See that? It's over there, but it comes way over here. You better, you better produce, taking up all this real estate. Sweet potatoes have filled in all of the empty spaces. The um, let me show y'all something because a lot of people have been saying that they can't grow this particular type. I'm stepping on something. This particular type. Come on, Jamaica. This particular type of um, okra, but I got it to grow somehow. And I just threw the seeds out here. I said, shoot, I am not, I am not gonna kill myself with these seedlings. Guess what this is? And no, it's not hard. This is a motherland okra. See how it's shaped? Let's try to get a regular piece of okra. If I haven't picked it all, because I made some fritters the other day. Something ate, is eating my stuff. Look at this. They, it's like they popped it open and they ate it. Man, you talk about mad? Little rabbit just ran all, all off. That's probably the one that did it. Can't give it to the chickens because it's not left. They ate everything out of it. Move it over there get it later shoot I'm gonna get my BB gun you're gonna make me get my BB gun all right so this is the motherland okra right let's go and see how a normal okra looks see how fat that is that's how I know what it is because I had some of the seeds and I was like mm, I don't know if it's gonna grow but I'm gonna put it out here this is a normal okra all right so motherland okra 
See how flat that is? Normal okra. See the difference? Side by side. Anyway, going in my pocket. They taste the same. I just wanted to see if I could grow motherland okra because I just love okra. Uh oh, I kicked something. Kushaw. I kicked the kushaw by accident. Let me get out of here. Chip two. So, all right, where were we? Let's go back this way. We got the watermelons and the squash growing together. The kusha, all kind of squash, all kind of melons. Canary melons are in here. See that? Kusha, kusha. Man, this kusha, all the vines are dead. All the vines are dead on this one. I need to clip this off. Look, that's how you know it's ready. Can't get more, no more ready than that. It's on a dead stem. There we go. That's another harvest. I can't put that in my pocket. I ain't letting them steal from me. I struggle with this stuff. So, let's go. Maybe it's because I stepped on one of them. I don't know. Or maybe it was just ready. So, we got some more okra in here. Let me tell you something about these ants. They like the nectar from these flowers. They're gone. They were here this morning. Now they're still here. Look. See the ants? Do not, do not mess with them. They are pollinators. Let them do what they do. Let them do what they do. They're doing you a favor. Don't brush them off. Just leave them alone. They all over the okra. They like the, they like the um, pollen. They, they bring it back to their queen. And while they're doing that, they pollinating for us. All right, so we got the okra here. We got cucumbers, squash over here, tomatoes, Laciano kale. That is more basil that I need to deadhead. 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 <laughs> this basil probably says, she won't leave me alone. I'm trying to have my babies. Nope, I ain't ready for you to go. We don't need it to pollinate yet. Let me put this on top of this thing. This right here with the purple stems, that's sorrel. I haven't gotten any sorrel from it yet, but I'm sure I will. Sure I will. Empty in my pockets while I talk to you guys. All right, so you gotta be careful. There were people who were saying to plant your cucumbers and your viney plants near your, um, near your stalk plants. I do not recommend it. it will strangle your plants. Cucumbers especially, they'll, they'll climb up and wrap around it. What's going on over there? Oh God, another sexual assault. <laughs> All right, so this is sorrel right here. I haven't gotten any sorrel flowers, but I don't expect anything till end of summer. And here's what the flowers look like after they dry up. I thought this was a bug at one time, but it's just a dead flower. I learned, the more you plant, the more you learn, right? So, so far, this is our harvest. Not that I wanted to harvest it. This was just supposed to be about the plants. Remember those um, sweet potatoes that we put in? They're gone, they, they done took off. Sweet potatoes is all in here, all in here. So where you see the orange tarp starting, I'm gonna start harvesting the sweet potatoes because they can't grow. They can't attach to the ground here where that orange tarp is. I might as well get something from it, from it right? And those um, delicata squash, and I'm getting angry with them because they, they just running all over the place, running rampant. Initially I was happy, but shoot. All the flowers are falling off, and there are pollinators. I've seen the bees around. They've been buzzing around. Something ain't right. I even threw out some fertilizer because I was like, okay, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Oh, we, we walk right by my favorite plant. Look at delicata squash. Everywhere. Everywhere. My favorite plant is right here. And look in here. I see one growing on the ground. It's right down there, but it's not ready. She ain't ready. Man, I love zucchini squash. Love it. 
love it love it and of course it's growing right next to the basil i think this is just me no proof dill doesn't work they'll go and eat the dill the bugs will be on the dill i have a video with some creepy crawlers on the dill dill didn't work but basil nothing just touches this bad boy as far as i know plant your ba oh I, he made me out of a liar look at that is that a squash bug i want to kill it but i don't have no gloves on. i'm afraid look at him made me out of a liar i'll come back get some um diatonaceous earth let's go around this way we're moving right along, right? So here are tomatoes again, right? That's eggplant plant right there. Some kale. I planted some other kale down here. Oh, they're coming up. Here they are. Kale is a trooper, but you just have to make sure you weed around it because the weeds will try to shade it out. It's a good thing that kale, kale looks different. Kale looks different than the rest of the plant, so they're easy to identify very easy to identify but get these weeds up because the weeds the weeds are stealing from it stealing water everything all right here is another eggplant laciano kale i have to come through here with my gloves on and weed all this stuff i pulled the cucumbers out of here because they were just they weren't doing well and they were just running all over the place um not sure what this is but it has fruit on it and it's a vine. It might be, it might not, it's not cucumbers. It's probably cantaloupe. Eggplant is doing real good. Here's a little eggplant down here. There she is. And here are the teaspoons of the tomatoes. They got the little itty bitty flowers on it because they got a little itty bitty fruit. Good for you. He fell down. You limping. <laughs> Prince. Pepper Le Pew. These are pomegranates. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. They get huge. You gotta prune them. But this is the happy thing. This is my happy place right here. I knew that would happen. That's what was supposed to happen. I cleaned this up, but it's been a week. I guess I gotta do it again. Walking down a raggedy lane again. So what haven't we covered yet? Y'all don't want to see the chickens. Y'all see the chickens on all those shorts. They're, com they're the comedy squad. <laughs> Gotta laugh or you cry. Yeah, I'm talking about you. All right. What did I forget? I gotta remember to get that fruit. Let me get that right now. What did I forget? Oh, we got gold in the, in the um, lovely lane. Let's get this out of here. I don't want to kill it. It's a butterfly on my hat. Okay. So, let's go back here. Remember, we had a storm, right? So, I got all my stuff over here. Don't talk about me. I had to air it all out. Anything that got wet had to dry. It has to dry up. So, let's put this right here. A good thing is these, they're full. They're all full. So I already talked about this sweet potatoes are still sweet potatoing. I guess I could use these on the other side. Yeah, where the cucumbers are. I'll do that. That's a grapevine. Y'all saw me when I um, was cutting down the brush here. That's something that I just didn't want to worry about no more. Here's a scotch bonnet. If I didn't tell you that, this is mullen been here for a long time still going strong still going strong these look at this these are my blueberries here's another one over here that is my calamundin the fruit are developing on the calamundin there's another one over here that fruit it did i didn't have any fruit on it but it developed fruit about a month or two ago about a month ago it started it started blooming so calamundans i'm gonna have a lot of those these are both in containers because i was afraid we would have you know it was gonna pass away because we get cold spur but i hear i could put it in the ground mm, 
I don't know. The only one that was really guaranteed to not not die on me was the um, Arctic Frost Sasumas. These are my tarot. They're standing up because they got good drenching the other day. Here are the trees that I have left. Black Beauty. This is a mulberry tree that needs to go on the ground. A bunch of plum trees need to go on the ground. You know, they sound like they're killing each other, but they're not. They just make that noise. I think they, they make it louder when I'm out here. Banana bush, these need to be repotted. They're not doing well. They, they've been in here for about hmm, four months. They need, and they were already out ready to come out. Everything here got ate. Got eaten by the um, snails before I eradicated them. These are the two uh, crepe myrtles that just sprung up that I got to get out of here. Got to get them up. That is three. So there's one here. That's another one there. And that's another one there. They got to come up. And that is poison oak. Well, leaves the three, let it be. Luckily for me, I'm not allergic to it. So I'm I'm gonna get it out or I'll have him I'll have him get it out. Either way. My trees are not doing well though. My bushes, I cut them down. Oh, they are coming back. Now that it rained, they're coming back. I, I had to chop them down. They were way too high. They were coming up the gazebo. Here is another tarot. Started from the root. I have three of them. I'm waiting for them to make off pups. And this one already has. I started off with one, which is probably this one right here. And here's two right here. Or I had two and now I have three. See that? That's definitely a pup right there. If you look back about a year, you'll see me separating them. Let's look at this one. Yeah, there are pups in here, but it's not enough. They still got room. It's still good. Well, I think this does it for our tour. I don't know if I missed anything. I hope I didn't. I probably did because there's a lot out here. But you all understand, right? It's getting dry out here. It's getting dry. Although it rained, I don't think it was enough. This ground is not completely saturated. Um, Houston got it. They didn't need it, though. That's the problem. I think this is Jamaica with Jamaica Life. I thank you guys for walking with me and talking with me. We didn't get the hurricane. And there's more. The hurricanes are barrel is bringing tornadoes. So that's never good. It turned into a tropical storm. And tropical storms, that's what they do. They cause a disturbance. So let's keep on praying for those people. Pray for yourselves, but pray for them especially because they're in the path. It's supposed to go all the way up north. West Virginia, I think, is what I saw on the map. It might be further than that. So I thank you guys, and I hope you all have a blessed evening, blessed morning, blessed week, blessed month, blessed summer, blessed year. And I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? Bye.